Candidates should be able to explain the basic of heating a room by convection and sea breezes or land breezes. Explain the basic of consequences of condition, convection and radiation of a fire burning wood or coal, kitchen pans, vacuum flask, and a radiator in a car. Heating the room by convection using the heater. When a heater is turned on, the air around it is heated. This causes the air to become less dense than the surrounding air and warm air rises. As the air begins to cool, warm air rises and pushes the cool air over. Warm air displaces cooler air. So, the cooler air, denser, and air sinks. Cool air flows across to take the place by the rising of the heated air. This process continues until the warm air is heated evenly throughout the room. The same process happens when a room is cooled by an air conditioner. The air conditioner cools the air, making it denser than the surrounding warmer air. The cooler air sinks. Cool air displaces warmer air. The warmer, denser, air rises. Warm air flows to take the place by the sinking, cooled air. This process continues until the room is cooled evenly. Sea breezes. During the day, the sun's infrared radiation heats the land more than the sea. This causes the air above the land to become warmer and less dense than the air above the sea. The warm air above the land rises, creating a low pressure area. Cooler air from above the sea, more dense, and sinks, creating a high pressure area. Cooler air above the, the sea then flows in to fill the low pressure area. This convection current causes a sea breeze to blow from the sea to the land. Land breezes. Land breezes is the reverse process with sea breezes. During the night, the land cools off more quickly than the sea. This causes the air above the land to become cooler and denser than the air above the sea. The cooler air above the land sink, creating a high pressure area. Warmer air from above the sea, less dense, and rises to create a low pressure area. The cooler air from above the land then flows in to fill the low pressure area. This convection current causes a land breeze to blow from the land to the sea. The condition, convection and radiation of a fire burning wood. The woods are burned by a fire, as shown. Heat energy is transferred through a solid to the hand by conduction. Heat energy is transferred through air to hands at the side of a fire by radiation. Heat energy is transferred through air to the hands above a fire by convection, because warm air above a fire rises. This is because warm air is less dense than the surrounding air. Vacuum flask. The stopper is made of an insulator, such as plastic, rubber, or other materials, which reduces heat energy loss by conduction. The stopper also stops heat loss by convection and evaporation. The gap contains no air. So, there are no particles to pass on the heat energy by conduction or convection. The silvered surfaces reflect infrared radiation and reduce heat energy loss by radiation. Kitchen pan. The kitchen pan is heated using a fire as shown. Kitchen pan is made of the metal, such as brass, aluminum or others. Thermal energy from a fire is transferred to the metal pan by radiation. Thermal energy is then transferred through the metal pan by conduction. Thermal energy is transferred from the metal pan to the water by conduction. Thermal energy is transferred through the water by convection, because hot water above the bottom pan rises. This is because hot water is less dense than the cooler water above it. Therefore, cooler water sinks and moves down to take its place. The plastics handle is an insulator to reduce thermal energy transfer to hand by conduction. Radiator in a car. A radiator is a heat exchanger in a car that helps to keep the engine cool. The coolant liquid flows through the tubes inside the combustion engine. The coolant liquid absorbs the engine's heat by conduction and then gets heated itself. 
The heated fluid rises by convection and then travels through a rubber hose to the radiator in the front of the car. As it flows through the thin tubes in the radiator, the hot liquid is cooled by conduction using the airstream entering the engine compartment from the grill in front of the car. Once the fluid is cooled, it returns to the engine to absorb more heat. The air picks up heat from the coolant by convection. Heated air is blown away by the fan, and colder air replaces it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would be grateful if you would subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a positive comment. Your support will help me to continue making videos and encourage me to create new content. Thank you.